much food left. The human body can last for days without food, Blake. What about tracking a murderer for days on an empty stomach? Our team will come for us. The captain said that there would be frequent checkups. We just have to wait, so stop complaining. Who do you think revealed our identities? I bet it was that intern. We don't even know if our identities are out there. We might be perfectly safe. Well then let's go find food! Just because we might be safe doesn't mean that we aren't in danger. This man killed four innocent people in one night. Really think he'd hesitate to kill us too? All I want is some food, Gray. It's a human necessity. But we could just eat the cat. Oh, geez. Dude, there's food out there! What? Really? Where did that come from? Did you just call me dude? Maybe our team brought it to us last night. Hey, uh, Tiger, where are you, bud? We've got some food. I think he ran away. I spent all of last night looking for him. I barely got any sleep. Dang. I was just starting to like that cat. Oh, when I was out looking for him, I saw somebody. What? And you didn't come straight back? What were you thinking? He was a thousand yards away and his back was turned. But what I really noticed was that all the clothes he wore were black. Black? In the middle of summertime? He moved straight up the list. Just what I was thinking. It's a kid. Like a baby goat or a, a human child? I don't know which one I'd be more surprised to see at this point. A little blonde girl. Well, see what she wants, I guess. Yeah? I'm Agent Child with the FBI. I've been sent here to deliver you supplies. We don't have any 10-year-old agents. I'm 12. I brought you supplies. I think you have no choice but to trust me. So you must have been the one who brought us food the other day. Yes. Why would they just send you? You can't be out in the field alone. I'm working with you guys now. You're Agent Blake and you're Agent Gray, right? We were told not to leave the safe house. Our identities may be compromised. Oh yeah, Mr. Captain told me to tell you that you're not on lockdown anymore. It was a false alarm. You're certain? Yeah. I can't believe we're trusting a 10 year old. I'm 12. Good evening, Lord Davenport. I'm so pleased to finally meet you. Lily will take your jacket. Would you please follow me into the dining room? How did that sound? Completely unauthentic. Margaret, darling, please take this seriously. Why should I? Lord Davenport is probably just some old man whose idea of fun is, like, model airplanes or golf. He isn't old, darling. I doubt he's more than ten years your senior. That's so creepy. He's wealthy, and he comes from a very respectable family. You'll be kind to him. Of course, Mother. Agent Gray and I never learned the identity of the second daughter. Alice, you said her name was? That's correct. Mrs. Hanson lives at 22 Maple Road. Have either of you been able to pay her a visit? We were ordered to scout the woods. The murder happened right along the river, so we're here searching for clues. Another team was sent to investigate the individuals involved in the murder. Have either of you spoken to Helen and Margaret yet? Not yet. Look, we all know we don't have enough clues to go on. We need more. Are those letters from Theodore? Yes. Did you love him? Very much. Well, maybe if you spoke to your mother... I can't marry a dead man, Lily. He's been gone for nearly three years. Here, burn these. I can't bear to do it myself. How did you guys become FBI agents? The same way you did. Through hard work and training. I mean, why did you become agents? When I was 12, my dad was put in jail for helping an escaped convict rob a bank. 
I wanted to prove that my dad was innocent. Did your dad get out of jail? When I became an agent, I found out the truth about my dad. He wasn't who he said he was. He had committed dozens of crimes across America throughout his lifetime. I didn't know that. What about you, child? I ran away from home and needed money. And the FBI needed someone who could go undercover easily. So that's what I'm here for. We need a way into the Hanson house. And it just so happens that we have an FBI agent who can easily be disguised. Any ideas? Mother, he was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. He'll be here any minute, I'm sure of it. He sounds rude. Why do I have to sit here and be nice to someone who's rude? I would like Lord Davenport to meet our whole family. We'll all make a good impression on him, won't we? Yes, Mother. Yes, Mother. Oh my goodness, Lily, answer the door! Answer the door! I'm so sorry to bother you, but I was playing outside and I hurt my knee. Oh dear. Lily, go fetch a wet cloth and a bandage. Come sit down, sweetie. This girl is no less important than Lord Davenport, Mother. Lord Davenport? Yes. Do you know Lord Davenport? Yeah, he's great! I appreciate your kindness. The nerve! Mother, don't be a snob. Darling, you know I can't help it. I can't believe you did that. Lord Davenport is visiting them tonight. Theodore Davenport? I guess Margaret and Theodore must know each other. So there was a connection between the families. You didn't know that? Do you know something we don't? The two families live next to each other. Well, we knew that, but there was no details that indicated a significant connection. From the files I researched, it looked like Margaret and Theodore were friends, and after the murder, they were sent to the same orphanage. A week after they arrived, there was a fire, and Theodore was presumed to dead. Do you think the murderer tried to kill those two kids? He wouldn't burn down an entire orphanage to kill two children. I think he was only targeting Theodore. The fire started outside of his room. How did you find out about that information? Neither of us knew it. I was working with some other investigators before I came here. Why did the murderer want Theodore dead? I think he wanted Margaret to himself. The murderer was in love with Margaret! How do you know about all this? This isn't something that they normally put in the case files. I pieced the theory together based on the facts. I don't think the murderer was in love with Margaret. I think he was obsessed with her. So obsessed that he would kill five innocent people to get her. Lord Davenport, I'm so... Mother, will you give us a minute? Darling? Mother, please. Were you ever gonna eat dinner? Alice! Am I looking at a ghost? I can't believe it's really you. I don't understand. I woke up in the hospital after the fire, and I was adopted by Lord and Lady Davenport. But nobody could tell me what happened to you. How did you ever find me? Just by luck, Lady Davenport happened to mention a friend of hers adopting a girl by the name of Margaret. I thought it was too good to be true, but I just had to find out. What about your sister? Can I see her? Some other time, I'm sure. There will be other times, won't there? What do you mean? I don't ever want to lose you again, Maggie. I almost moved on. I told our maid Lily to throw away your letters. I'm so sorry. That's all right. I didn't burn them. What? Our cover is that you guys are my parents, and we're going for a nice morning stroll. Excuse me? How old do you think we are? I don't know, 35? I'm 21. Our cover is that you are our annoying little sister, and we're all on our way home. The guy you saw yesterday? Yeah. It looks like he has a cat with him. Let's go talk to him. 
What are you doing? I don't like cats. Good afternoon. Afternoon? Sorry about her sister. She's afraid of cats. What breed is he? I don't know. It's a cat. He's beautiful. Are you and your cat from around here? Lived in this town our whole lives. Interesting. We've never crossed paths before. My name is Sarah, and this is my brother Matthew. What's your name? Damon. Damon, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, we were just headed home, so uh, uh, maybe we'll see you later. Tiger, you came back! Thank goodness! Yeah, thank goodness. Now we'll definitely solve the case. We didn't learn a whole lot. Is there anything in the records that says that the, that the murderer might have had an affection for cats? Not that I've read. We've been working this for three years, Blake. We can't keep running into dead ends. We'll keep investigating, Damon. There's not enough information to pursue that course of action. You seem awfully quiet, Agent Child. Hmm? Oh. I thought you said you didn't like cats. This one's all right. There's something you're keeping from us. What do you know? I don't know if I should tell you. Remember, you're an FBI agent assigned to this case, the case that we're all working on. If you have any useful information, you should share it. You're not a federal agent. What? You're Margaret's sister. What? You're Alice? Alice is Mrs. Hansen's daughter. My name is Kenzie Brigham. I didn't want to tell you because then I wouldn't be able to help my sister. You could be arrested. I helped the case. Hardly. Well, then I'm about to. You've been looking for the murderer for three years. Why should we listen to you? And the only suspect right now is the man you've met in the woods. And I can tell you that he is the murderer. Have you seen him before? I didn't recognize him until I saw the cat. When my parents were alive, he would take walks by our house and he would try to talk to Margaret all the time. He saved Margaret from the fire. My sister and I were the only ones who saw him. So you think he's the one who started the fire? We need to make an arrest, and you will stay here. I helped you solve the case! Yeah, but you're 12. So you're not my parents. That's true. Well, I think we've created enough suspense. I think it's time to make an arrest. I guess we better get married then. I mean, we don't have to. Jo joking, joking. I was just waiting for the right time to ask. And that time is now. Hi. That's his cat. He must be nearby. That's Margaret Hansen's house. We could be too late. My sister would never let that man in her house. She knows who he is. He could try and break in. Come on. I knew it. Tell me who you are. FBI, you're under arrest. I'll just stay here, I guess. I swear to you, I'll shoot. You wouldn't shoot an innocent child. Ow! I was not expecting that. You're under arrest! Wait, I don't have any handcuffs. Yeah, you're not allowed to arrest people. Damon, you're under arrest for the murders of Adam and Inga Johnson and for the murders of Eliza and David Brigham. My arm really hurts. Am I going to die? No, no one's going to die. Not anymore. <laughs> 